Victoria but, one four one hundred cottage mark to one one here. Is that a fair reflection of how far teams are coming <coughs> Yeah, I think so. I think you, you saw a different type of performance. Um, I think it was it was still early days, um, the first game. But in fairness, uh, I think City acknowledged on the day, and, and I don't think I've seen them play any better than that since either. I think it was their best performance in an attacking sense. Unfortunately, we were the we were at the wrong end of it. But uh, on the day, they were excellent, and uh, we didn't have the answers. But today, uh, we, we restricted very good plays to very few opportunities, and. Um, that's, I think that's a reflection of the work that we've done and the commitment that the players are showing me now. Expect more from City today. Um, well, I haven't seen a great deal of them, to be perfectly honest. Obviously, the last few games uh, we've been paying attention to them, but I, I'm not sure how that sits in terms of the the manner of their performances in in recent weeks. I, I don't know, but um, from my point of view, I think it was more to do with how we restricted them to to very few opportunities. I think the key to it was uh, the fact that we were able to, take, to keep Carlos Tevez, who really is the catalyst for everything they do, in my opinion, and to keep him quiet, then that takes a lot from, from City's game. And uh, thankfully, we were able to do that today. You seemed very happy with Roberto at the end when you proffered your hand. What was that all about? Did he not look um, <laughs> Well, it's probably my fault again, but um, I'm a little bit old fashioned in, in as much as I always think if you're off your hand, regardless of the circumstances, sometimes it's difficult. Um, I had to offer my hand and and do it with sincerity when, when my team was beaten 4 1 by Roberto's. Um, and I, on the day I was disappointed, obviously, but I acknowledged that his team was better and um, he deserved a handshake of sincerity. And I, I think maybe I misread it, but I, I just felt Roberto didn't really. Acknowledge the efforts of my team and how well we'd done by the man of the way he offered his hand and call me old fashioned, but that's that was my take on it. By not looking at you, by not yeah, yeah. yeah. He, he said he did deliberately because you'd done that to him in the game in November. I don't recall doing that. I don't recall. Doing that. I think he's incorrect. Well, you, you kind of come back here, Mark, with kind of regret or do you? Yes, it's more to do with that. No, I don't have any regrets. I mean, City are a fantastic club, great people here. I've, I've met people I was really fond of, and it was great to see them again. I'm not that opportunity because I've not been back to the ground since since I was sacked. So it was nice in that respect, and and everybody has pride and and. You want to be acknowledged for what you, how you do your job and how you you try and go about your business. So it was important from that respect and it wasn't just about me it was about my staff and and our families basically and um, it was important for them so um, to come here and get a real good performance and, and and a positive result was really important for a lot of people Hanglin Breda yeah well he's uh, He's one of those players that you don't realise how good he is until you actually work with him. And with, there's a number of those players that I've followed and I've been delighted with what I've discovered there. And, and Breda, for the ball playing centre half, is as good as they come. And uh, you can see those types of passes. He, he he wants to obviously not just clear his lines on occasions. Uh, you'll get a little bit of criticism from me because we we sometimes overplay. But uh, you can see a pass and he and he fed Damien with. Um, sorry, Andy Johnson with a great, great ball down that right-hand side and great ball in and fantastic finish. So, yeah, he's got that ability to see those passes.